Oh, it's so heartbreaking to see. And of course, we are going into the peak of our wildfire season because of the Santa Ana winds. And we do have two Santa Ana winds that I'm tracking in the next seven days. We're in one right now that will continue through tomorrow. And then another one over this weekend. For us locally, it's a fairly mild event today and tomorrow and an even weaker event this weekend. So we do have that going for us. Now is always a good time to go over your evacuation plan with your family and make sure your emergency kit is ready to go. And of course, always be clearing that defensible space away from your home. Gorgeous sunset uh, as we look towards Chula Vista from O Time Mountain. We're at 68 degrees in the South Bay right now. 65 in Vista, 67 or 73 degrees rather in Oceanside and 75 in Vista. So 60s and 70s to kick off our evening. Fairly calm winds. Looks like we just lost a reporting station in Alpine, but we're in the teens there as far as the wind. Peak wind gusts today have only got reached up to about 44 miles per hour. So again, this is a weaker event for us. It is a little breezy again tomorrow. Also drier. The humidity levels are going to be coming down. You can see winds anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles per hour, pretty much anywhere in the county. Warmer tomorrow. We're looking at more 70s along our coastline near 80 in Oceanside, 80s for most of the inland neighborhoods, 60s return to our mountain areas unless you're in Mount Laguna. That's going to stay quite chilly at 54 degrees. Santee, one of the warmer spots at 82. So mild Santa Ana winds with this next system. That storm right there is going to be following a similar track, bringing weaker Santa Ana winds this weekend. And then finally, that's the storm that we've been tracking. For the most part, the storm track has been staying to the north of us. Coming through next week, I am tracking a storm system that is going to be diving south. Looks like it's going to be moving into California at the end of next week. It appears that it's going to stall offshore. Looks like it's going to get cut off from the jet stream. So that is going to determine what days we see rain next week. As of right now, it's potentially that we could see as early as Wednesday. I really think it's more likely that the significant rain is going to hold off until Friday or even Saturday. So we'll be watching this one closely. So stay with the pinpoint weather team for updates on timing and totals with this system. But through the weekend, we're staying nice in the 70s along our coast. Inland neighborhoods will be seeing 70s and 80s through the extended dry and breezy again tomorrow and then again on Sunday. Pretty cold at night. Big temperature swings from our morning lows to our afternoon highs, especially in the mountain areas. Another day, another night, I should say, dipping down to the 30s for the colder spots. 60s tomorrow, another night in the 30s, heading into Thursday night and Friday morning. For the desert areas, 70s and 80s, really nice into next week.